Mayor, you ready for us? Uh, yes, good evening, everybody. Good evening. First of all, I'd like to talk about our backpack uh, to school event we had yesterday. Uh, it was a tremendous event. We gave out um, over 1,270 backpacks, uh, and we don't have one left over. Uh, I'd like to give a special thanks to uh, Angelo Monaco. He was our event coordinator, uh, the Mayor's Youth Commission, uh, Josh Weish and, uh, and Ryan from uh, Teleapp, our Linden High School volunteers, our student volunteers, uh, Pastor Pam Jones and, um, and CIC, Kevin Durkai, uh, VFW Post 1397, and the Linden Family CDC. Bernie Cordeleski and his wife Camille, uh, and employees from Total USA, members of the Linden Fire Department, who we can always count on anytime we have any event. I thank you guys. You guys are uh, outstanding. Um, the Recreation Department, Police Department, and OEM. I'd like to also thank Wayne Zuba uh, and his hot dog hut and uh, Pasquale of Pasquale's Pizzeria and all the companies and residents who donated to the event it's because of your efforts and hard work that we were able to have this uh, successful event. Uh, moving on, I'd like to thank um, Orange Theory Fitness in Garwood for their donation of two treadmills to the police department. And I'd like to also thank Philip 66 for the purchase of, the, of solar safety signs. Now, as mentioned earlier, uh, we talked about the train station. Uh, I'd like to personally thank Jerry Bishop, uh, who's in my office every morning. Uh, and we're on the phone with New Jersey Transit. Uh, and they say the squeaky wheel gets the oil. But that's precisely what we've been, is a squeaky wheel. Uh, calling and bothering almost anyone we could, th could think of to get some action down there. Uh, and I will be the first to admit that there's no I in, in, in the word team. And Jerry has been a catalyst. Uh, he's been in the office again every morning uh, trying to make something happen. Uh, he's down at that train station. When you see him down there, you don't have to, you, 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 go look, you go to the train station, you can find Jerry. He's not hiding anywhere. You can find him. He's actually working down there. Um, you know, picking up papers, doing what he has to do uh, to make sure that the, that the train station is clean and a decent place to be. Uh, I'd like to thank the police department for increasing their patrols. Uh, Chief, uh, Chief Hart, uh, we, we've got uh, the police department making four or five stops a day down there. Uh, we've also reached out to New Jersey Transit, uh, their police department, and they're making two stops a day. So I think collectively, with all the good things uh, you know, that everybody's trying to, to, to accomplish, uh, it's, it's all coming together. So moving on, I'd like to uh, announce to, uh, that this week we signed a redevelopment agreement with Advanced Greek. Uh, for the Trimley Point property. Um, if any of you are familiar with that, it's the vacant um, GAF and DuPont properties. Uh, it's a 241-acre site, uh, and there are going to be 4.1 million square feet of warehouse uh, space down there with offices. Uh, it will be the largest warehouse distribution center in the state of New Jersey, right here in Linden. So um, we're very proud of, of that accomplishment, and, uh, and we look forward to that particular location coming alive again. Uh, it's going to be over 1,000 jobs provided in that particular area. And um, that's one of the reasons why we, um, this, this town is moving forward. And one of the reasons why we don't pare back on our police and fire protection is that we have something here to protect. So um, we always make sure that we take care of our, 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 our emergency management uh, operations in this city. So, uh, and, and that being said, I'd like to congratulate our uh, new fire recruits, and um, not to single anyone out, but I just have to uh, because I've known uh, this one young lady, uh, Brianna Bornstead. Uh, she'll be joining the a fire department with her dad, uh, who's an excellent firefighter himself. Uh, she comes from a great family, as do all of the uh, gentlemen uh, and, and ladies who have uh, who, who, are, who are going to be coming on. Um, I'd like to also uh, talk about. Uh, Mrs. Scholes, Tyler Scholes. Um, I know uh, that Butchie is looking down and just as proud as he can be. Um, he was a tremendous worker in our city. This, 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 this man would do anything you asked him. He was, he was a jack of all trades. Um, and he never questioned. Anytime you gave him something to do, he would do it. Uh, he was an excellent plumber. Uh, and, uh, and I know he's proud of you. I know he's looking down right now, and I, I know he's very proud of you. And I know you're going to do a great job uh, because you come from a good family. So um, again, congratulations to you all. Uh, I'm 
so proud to be at the head of a city where we're doing new things, where new things are happening. Because this is history. This is truly history. I, I saw your names on the list several months ago, and I had hoped and prayed that we'd get to you, and we did. So it's a good thing. And I know you're going to make us all proud, you know. And again, not to single you two ladies out, but you, this is history in the making, and I just know you're going to do an outstanding job. <laughs> and you know what? You may be the first, but I'm certain that you two aren't going to be the last. So again, we're proud of you all. So and I think I'm going to conclude my reports with that. Thank you all, and have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor.